welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot for Monday, 12th of, oh, oh my God, November 2018. Okay. <laughs> if it's going to be like that, it's going to be like that. Okay. Hello cards. Whoa. Hoo -hoo. Okay. Made my nose itch already. Crumbs. What can I say? Ace of Cups and Temperance. I am using the Ancestral Tarot. It's a funny kind of November day. The sun's kind of hitting the back wall over there. It feels like a weird reading already. I lost my hairbrush, then I found it. I brushed my hair, it's gone big. Here we are people. Ace of Cups and Temperance. What a nice combination. And yet at the same time, there is a feeling of it being somewhat languid, in a kind of a nice way. Can you see here, there's the dolphin, there's the sunset. This is a very kind of Piscean card. I'm saying that as well because there's a fish on the bottom, but it's not just Piscean. The fish has got that kind of aspect of it out of the blue something coming out of the blue something coming and there's the seagulls again out of intuition and radiance of the sea it's nice and I like it and I really like the way it pairs up with this temperance card where she's playing as people always do in the temperance card with and it doesn't vary that much from pack to pack there's the odd ones that tamper with it but generally temperance is a female who's kind of got a thing going on like this with jugs of water and and is playing between the two but her feet for me are always buried or one of them at least is always buried in the source important one foot in the source i'm just the reason i'm looking out the window is because i'm wondering if that is migrating birds you know when they go off in that v I love that. I think it's not. I think it's seagulls. And you know, from I know from your comments you're good at birds. You know from my comments I'm bad at birds. But I like them. And I'm fascinated by them. And I just love it when they do that thing where they go off. They go off in that V. And I think it's geese. And they just make this noise. It's like a kind of... It's like they're in an eider down with their... They go vroom, 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 like that. And then you see them. And the V is almost perfect, but there's always one that's just a little bit rogue. That would be me. I'd be trying. It would be like when you go to the aerobics dance class and everyone's going that way and you're going that way, like this. And then you go, <laughs> all of a sudden. That's me. Okay. This could be about romance, it could be about creative ideas, it could just literally be life coming out of the cup. There is a lot behind it. Major Arcana, the tower in reverse. I think this is 2018 and this, although it's Egyptian, is reminding me of the clock in Back to the Future. <laughs> you know the one I mean, don't you? Where we're going. We don't need roads, Marty. And it does feel like that. It really does feel like that. And I'm glad it's in reverse. And over here we have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse as well. One of the, not the few actually, there's quite a lot of cards I like in the reverse. This one's nice in the reverse. For those of you looking for love, this is a great card because it's the You Won't Be Single in 2019 card because it pairs with the Ace, which for me is like a year. A year Hence, love the word hence. I'm studying a bit with my son at the moment and I'm studying Charles Dickens and things. So uh, hence, hence has featured among other things, which I'm sure will be coming into the readings. I'll try not to say things like Pumblechook and Mr. Pocket, but you know, you know that it will come up. And if there is a tarot set, I may purchase it. Okay. Nine of Pentacles in reverse in the most basic sense. If this was a relationship reading and you were asking me, am I going to be single next year? The answer is probably not. 
okay? So that covers that base. But the Ace of Cups is more than just relationships. The Ace of Cups is something to do with life outpouring, creativity, the unis of you and the grabbing of life. If you were to say to me, this has been a very difficult year, 2018 has been deconstructive, is that even a word? A deconstruction of my life. I would say yes. And from that, it's kind of a fresh inlet, you know, it's something that can come in. It's created space. And in the meantime, of course, we're still in 2018. We've got the four of wands in the reverse. <laughs> it ain't time yet. I like the four of wands, even in reverse. It's nice to have in a reading. But it's a four and it falls a stable. And we're not that stable at the moment. We are, we are this. I mean, this is a really, really evocative card, actually. The hanged one which is the hanged man but for this they've got a baby in utero something coming into being i suppose also like the empress card but something that is developing something that is right where it needs to be getting everything it needs to be but at the same time not ready to come out yet okay let's have a herbal tarot card Thank you for all of your comments about the Herbal Tarot. Honestly, I got the Herbal Tarot and I thought, this will be good, Gemma, you know, nothing about herbs. I loved the artwork when I saw it on eBay. Of course, it's a second-hand set, because I always use a second-hand set if I can. Let's see when it is, 1988, oh my God. Hey, when was Back to the Future? Was that night? Could that be 19? I think that was before 1980. I think that was about 1984, Gemma. <coughs> Anywho, okay. The, as my friend says, the turbo harrow. <laughs> the turbo harrow. <laughs> She's my friend who always says, do you want a cup of turbo he? Oh, yes. Shout out to my turbo he friend. Okay. So, yeah, I did the King of Cups, I think, wasn't it, in the last reading and <laughs> all of you i thought oh my god there's a herb thing on here called palmetto something palmetto i'll say it because it's here and i say what i see you know here we go let's say it and i thought people are going to think i'm nuts and then comment after comment about your associations with it and i just thought oh my god so i am massively learning about it and also quite um it's quite poignant because it's a herb isn't it palmetto that um some of you have told me is for prostate cancer and in the last well this month well in the scorpio season i lost a friend to prostate cancer and he was a pisces and it was the king of cups and i just have a feeling he kind of has been around that reading and that you know i don't know it was just it was comforting and as you know Losing somebody, I don't know, it's Paul Simon, losing love is like a window in the heart. I have been a bit blown apart, but yeah, something was nice in that reading. Thank you for your comments. Thank you anyway. And I'm glad that I said it. Anyway, Herbal Tarot does kind of resonate with us. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It's not the time to start and it really feels like it should be. I love in all Ace of Pentacle readings that we get the gateway. See that? But it's not here. It's, it's yonder, <laughs> as Dickens would say. It's yonder. Well, one of his characters, Joe, who works in the Forge in Great Expectations, he would say, tis yonder, Pip. Tis yonder. Okay. So I'm telling you, tis yonder, people. Tis yonder. And the herb or I don't know if it is a herb, you'll have to tell me, I don't think it is, is whole grains in reverse. Whole grains, of course, are a staple and they grow. And we still have the cosmic hand. I love me a cosmic hand and I'm glad they're included in here. 
and I love that over the under. Reminding me as well of Carol King, oh, way over yonder. Oh, love that song. Really itching for one of these cards as well. Way over yonder is a place that I know. Can't remember the rest of it, oh, but I do love it. I used to sing that with my sister and she played it on the piano. Happy days, good old tapestry. Oh, okay, Tink. This for me is Tinkerbell. It is feistiness. She is diminutive, but she is powerful and she is feisty. And although in some ways it's very nice to have the Ace of Cups and Temperance in the offing, it's reassuring. Don't, and this is a double negative, don't think that you won't need your feistiness because you will. For me, the Ace of Pentacles is when we come into Capricorn season. And my dates are terrible, but sometime around, I want one of these. And I've got a feather <laughs> on my arm. Sometime around, is it the 20th of December? Something like that. We've got an eclipse in Capricorn on the 5th or 6th of January as well. For me, that's a real game changer. Ooh. Way over yonder is a place that I know where I can find shelter from the hunger and cold. I think that's it. Let me know. I know that you're going to know because you do. <laughs> you always know. The Metal King. He's quite scary looking, actually. Discipline, armour and boundaries. Don't think that you won't need your sass because you will. Especially those of you dealing with relationship situations or anything to do with love and outpourings. OK, you will still need your boundaries. You will still need to stand very much in your ground because back to the future, the tower, it still happened. Let's have Healing with the Angels Oracle card. Valentine is off on a jaunt, by the way. That's what my mum used to say about me when I was a teenager. <laughs> Are you off on one of your jaunts? She's off on one of her jaunts. Divine Guidance. Yes, indeedy. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. I love to read them. I try and reply to most of them that I can. And I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.